Let the let the vocals out, nigga. This is the survivor speak. I didn't mess around and went right, went right from my driver's seat. This fight with the industry was insane. I'd rather make a difference instead of he ain't complaining. So let me park the whip, it don't matter. Rap rap roll, my mom shit. This is the real comedian, perfect. Let's park our politics. Hey, let's park our politics. What what kind of football on? Let's park our politics. This is football on. Let's park our politics. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Lockout Man podcast show. This is Lockout Man. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you guys stepping up in the building. Today is Saturday, uh, January 2nd. I hope everybody had a excellent new year. What do you guys think about that fucking Dick Clark New Year's Eve bullshit that they had going on in New York City that night, man. I it looked like I was in it, it, it didn't even look right. It it didn't look right at all. At all. But you know, 2021 is here now, and um and we're 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 in the we're 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 in it to win it. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Well, welcome, everybody. If y'all step up in the building, make sure you hit that like button. That's all I care about. Everything else comes into play. You know what I'm saying? Today, our topic is about the young lady that was unfortunate, uh, had her uh, life unfortunately taken from her uh, by way of circumstances, uh, Miss Helen Jones. Uh, before we get into uh, the topic, I want to say that the opinions of the guests is not the opinion of the host or uh, Lockout Men podcast. So uh, the guest that I have in the building today is Young Grind, DeMarchio. DeMarchio. He's the ones that that brings me all the good topics, all the good stories. What's going on, bro? What's happening, y'all? What's happening, live? What's happening, America? Happy New Year's. Happy 2021 to rise and shine and do better than we ever done in lifetime. Be blessed and be grateful. That's what's up. That's what's up. And special guests in the building, uh, Captain Peanut, Mr. Timothy. What's going on? Hey, not so much. It's Captain Peanut from the DRV 103 Morning Drive. All right. All right. So, uh, fellas, uh, Let's let's uh let's uh let's just uh jump uh right into it. I might have I I might have uh I might have another guest uh that might be joining us today. Uh I'm not sure. I'm I'm about to see if I can send her the link. But uh DeMarco, let's let's start off with you, bro. You you was the one that uh that that hit me to uh this story of uh of Miss Helen Jones. So catch everybody up uh to uh to your assessment of what happened and what's going on. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh young grind, Demarco Bryant, coming to y'all once again. Uh you know, on this topic of today is on Helen Jones, another truck driver. Uh, Who's not with us, um, based on her, based on her choice. Um, right. It's it's the she was under uh, mental issues, mental depressions uh, over the years that I've talked to her. Uh, plenty of truck drivers uh, reached out to her, uh, tried to give her help, but. I'm gonna say this. It's in your standpoint of knowing yourself. And if you know for yourself that you have these issues going on, it's best for you to do best for yourself to get that situated. Uh because we can only do as being helpful as we can, but again, we can't control uh what happens in your life. Mm -hmm. uh at this point in time it seems like it was the mental issues on top of depression or stress of uh what she was going through in her lifetime 
And uh, to my understanding of people that I talked to, the depression and stress was her mom and grandmother was on her mind. Uh, I wish I could uh, wish the wish I could have reached out to my other homeboy uh, who has more information also. But uh, what I gathered from him was this was planned out. Mm. So you say so. So you say she 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 wanted to leave. Yeah, because uh, my other homeboy who lives in Cali, he said his friend lives around the corner in that area of uh, Indian School Road and Twenty Seventh, and uh, she had said that that night she's going to go uh, be with her mother and grandmother. So I. I, I, I don't know Helen personally. Uh I, I do walk the same circles that she that she walked in, you know, some of the same groups that she that she's that she was in. And uh, from what I understand and from what I came up uh, and from what I came across her, I mean, you know, I you know, I I was always in the threads where she would get into it with with uh with a few drivers. Um she she's a you know she's a nice you know she was a nice lady you know a nice lady uh very personable but uh she she did have a she did have a dark side to her um you know uh especially when her her mental illness takes over and she she becomes a a a totally uh different person uh Timothy man uh looks as though you you had more uh more time uh with this young lady so can you uh give us uh you know give us what what it was like knowing uh knowing Helen you know um first and foremost when just like everybody you tend to meet people in different trucking groups and you know, there are certain people that people, everyone talks to. So back in the day, um, I was in quite a few trucking groups on Facebook. And I noticed that Helen was one of the most popular people in that trucking group. Mm -hmm. And I reached out a couple of times. And just like everybody else, when you become basically famous, Facebook famous, mm -hmm. Twitter famous, whatever, a small person with only one or two people following you, people don't really give you the time of day. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't until after she had gotten out of prison, um, I saw her on a Facebook Live, and um, I reached out to her then, and a lot of people who were following her back then had stopped following her. Uh, there was a lot of... Um, dislike for her back then and i'm a type of person um with being in the media business you gotta get both sides of the story both sides and of the story that, let me let me stop you right there let me let me stop you right there exactly both sides of the story as well as seeing the story from the beginning from the initial beginning Okay. Uh what's up everybody in the uh chat? Welcome to the show. Uh if you guys come into the building, make sure y'all hit that like button. My man Young Grind Global is in the building as well as Timothy. Uh Captain Peanut is in the building and we're talking about the life and times of Helen Jones. Let me get you guys caught up to what uh what happened by way of Phoenix. Arizona, uh, the top, uh, the Phoenix, Arizona article is a Phoenix PD woman shot by police at, uh, that had pointed a gun at the officers. Um, according to the uh, police department, the shooting happened just after midnight on December 28th. So this was maybe about a week ago on uh, school Avenue prior to the shooting police in the area, uh, were involved in a traffic stop where they heard gunshots, and I'm I, I'm gonna assume it was probably her 
shooting in the parking lot of where she was at. They proceeded to investigate where they where they approached by 47 year old Helen Jones, who spoke to them about her car being parked in a nearby strip mall. The officers asked Jones if she was armed. And at that time, she said that she was unarmed and she refused to show the right side of her hip, which appeared to have, you know, have a weapon. Police officers tried to get Jones to comply, but she refused. She turned around and pointed the gun at him. And that's where the officers opened fire, striking Jones. Uh, at this at this point, she was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced uh, where she was pronounced dead. Um, there is a video uh, there. There is a there is a video and I do have it. Uh, and, you know, back to what uh, what Peanut was saying about, you know, you you have to see both sides of the story and you have to see what happened before the video or camera guy decided to turn on the camera. Uh, go, go ahead, uh, Peanut. Well, and like I was saying, um, we basically started chatting. Um, I started DRV 103 and I have a Facebook group and I had a few people in there and I explained to her what the basics for us for DRV 103. She liked my idea and she wanted to be a part of it. So she had over 2,000 people following her mm -hmm. and she started to add people to the group. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we basically grew my group, um, Facebook group up and like everyone else, we had a disagreement. And right. once we had our disagreement, she tended to back away from the group and from myself, mm -hmm. but we still stayed in touch. Right. And as we stayed in touch, um, just like I'm with you right now on a phone call, we were on a phone call, mm -hmm. and she explained to me what happened the night of her accident. Now that's the and that's that's the accident that was up in uh, up in Kentucky, Kentucky. right? Little Kentucky, yes. So as um, she explained to me what happened and when she went to prison, um, she at that moment said she will never go back to jail or prison again. Mm. Was and that was was that her first time? Now did she was was it because of the accident that she went to prison, or was it because of something else before the accident that she went to well, prison? The accident one where she said someone was in the truck with her. Yeah, she was kidnapped. She was not kidnapped. She had watched a movie, and this is what she told me. She had watched a movie prior to the accident. Um, her grandmother and her mother both had passed with basically within like hours of each other, mm -hmm. and her grandmother is who raised her, so she was very close to her grandmother. And she just had a lot of things going on in her head that she just could not deal with. So she had purchased some illegal substances mm. and some alcohol. And she basically had gotten high and she took off to go deliver her load. And I'm assuming between the alcohol and the drugs, um, the movie that she had saw Prior to this, she started to live it in her head. Mm. All right. So this is the article. Now, man, you guys, this incident right here happened uh, August 21st, 2020. I mean, 2017, uh, where she actually live streamed the whole uh, incident. Uh, in this article, it says a uh, woman, a woman kidnapping kidnapping story played out on social media and ended with a crash on I-65 in Louisville. Guys, this is the scene of the accident. DeMarchio, so, 
DeMarcio, this is the scene of the accident, bruh. How was it possible for anybody to walk away from that? Oh, wait a minute. DeMarcio, I don't, uh, we, we can't hear you, DeMarcio. Hold on. Would I we we can't hear you. You got your you you put your head you got your your headset on because we can't hear you. You might need to take your Bluetooth off, bruh. <laughs> Hold on. Uh let me go ahead and uh let me go. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Hold on. Yeah, you, you might want to take your your Can you your, hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can you hear All me? Right. All right. Um, so again, bro, this how is it possible for someone to walk away from this accident, bro? Uh oh, I, I, I don't think you might need to take your you, you might need to take your Bluetooth off. Yeah, you yeah, you you might need to take you might you might need to turn yeah. the Bluetooth off. Yeah, right. I, I I don't think the Bluetooth is gonna work, bro. Nah. <laughs> but nah. it, but but again, man, how how is it possible for somebody to walk away from this accident, man? God, that's it. <laughs> that, that, you, you're right. That's that's all I can see. Um, Peanut, man, you do you do you see the do you see the picture up on up on uh, your screen? No, hold on. Let me go back to my YouTube. All right. Um, uh, why, 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 Timothy yeah. looking for his YouTube? What's going on, Resto? What's going on, Father D? Smells like OTR. Uh, you said, what did the driver say to her? I wonder. Uh, it was I, all I could say is that she wasn't a fan of a lot of drivers, bro. Uh, so we'll we'll just pretty much leave it at that. Zapora, what's going on? You say you have so many questions. Uh, you know, Zapora, I think uh, I think I'm gonna bring you in so you can uh, answer some of the questions. Let me uh. There we go. All right, I'm about to. I had the wrong button. So I'm about to put the link into the uh, into the chat for you, so you can uh, come in, uh, Zapor, and uh, ask some of your questions. Now, uh, I'm a, uh, now hold, hold hold that thought, young guy. Hold that thought. Uh, Peanut, are you able to uh, see the picture? Okay, but have you have you saw the picture? Did did you did you see the picture of of the accident? Is he there? Yeah, she coming in in a minute. No, uh, Peanut, is he there? Yeah, Peanut's there. Can you hear him? No. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. Hold on. Peanut, uh, give me a mic check so that uh, what's his name could see if he can hear you. Can, can you hear him, young guy? No. All right, you might need to restart your restart your thing and come back in. All right. Hold on. While you doing that, I'm about to bring in Zapora. What's going on? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, Zippor, can you hear Peanut? Peanut, give me a mic check. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I see what I did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I see what I did. Enough, so. hold, hold on. I see what I did. Hold on. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. Hold on. All right. Peanut, give me a mic check. One, two, one, two. All right. Can you can you hear him, uh, Zippor? Hello? Yeah. Peanut, can you hear Zippor? No. Hello, can you hear me? I I can hear you, Zippor. Can you hear okay. Peanut? 
Yes, Peanut? I can hear him. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can, oh, okay, okay. You can hear Peanut? All right. Yes. All right, Peanut, can you you can hear me, right, Peanut? I, I can hear you, but I can't hear no one else. Okay, hold on right quick. All right, all right, grind. Uh, say something. Give, give me a mic check. Yo, what's up? All right, uh, Peanut, did you hear Young Grind? No. Okay, I, I got you. How is that possible? Okay, I'm, what I'm going to have to probably do is, uh, what I'm going to have to probably do is, hold on, let me, let me remove this. Let me, let me remove that from the stream. Uh, let me, let me do this. Let's, uh, share. Okay. Click on that. Share audio. Okay. Uh, and I got it. Okay. Tina, give me a mic check. Mic check one two. All right, guys. Did you hear Peanut? Yes, I heard him. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then Peanut, you you can hear me, but you can't hear them. Exactly. All right. Well, what you probably might have to do is uh, how many phones do you have over there, bro? Do you have a computer? Uh, everything I got right now is back in my truck. I'm in a hotel room. Until Monday, just and you only just have your phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, but I'll, I'll I'll pass some of the I'll pass some of the information on to them. But they can you you guys can hear him though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So if you guys have any questions for uh for him, then I'll just pass it to him. And then since you guys could hear him, y'all could probably bounce off of that. All right. So, so what are we talking about? Are we talking about the truck driver that lost their life or something else? Yeah, no, we're talking about the truck driver that lost her that lost her life. Oh yeah. Um okay, so Pina, continue on what you were saying about the young lady. So in this accident, um when the cop got there, you know, of course we went ahead and you are told you have a hostage situation. Now you have an accident. Um, as the cops started to sweep the truck looking for who was in the truck with her, um, she's drinking still. And um, there's, I guess, must have still been some illegal substances left in the vehicle with her. Mm -hmm. Um, and it is shown on video that one of the cops said that they should have killed her, you know, for lying mm. and costing the state of Kentucky all this money. Um, wow, to try to stop this from the trailer. Now, of um, course, of of course, that that particular video is nowhere to be found. <laughs> well, well, hold up, hold up. Oh, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. Hold up. Okay. Hold up. Okay. Okay. She had access to that video herself. Mm -hmm. She shared that with me. But unfortunately, I have a phone that I can't seem to get into right now. If I can get someone who can get into it, I can power it up. We can get back into that phone. That video is on that phone. All right, and this is and this is the, from the Kentucky incident uh, that happened four years ago. Yes. Okay, so I asked this question of of Demarcio, and I'm I'm going to ask the same question to you, um, uh, Zippor. You 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 see the picture right there? Yes, I see it. How was somebody able to walk away from? that accident God alone it wasn't their time to go that's the only explanation for that because they should have been dead but they're not correct I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna assume so I am definitely gonna assume so this one uh, again like I said this one is out of Louisville Kentucky this accident happened uh, four years ago um Right here at the bottom, it said the truck eventually crashed into the overpass of Fern Valley Road. Mm. Uh, she did say that the next bridge she sees, she's crashing into it. Joan says during her live Facebook. Um, 
the one guy said it was a heart-wrenching situation. Uh, Jones at the time, at the time, said that it was, uh, you know, it was explosives on the truck. She hmm. was kidnapped, uh, and she stirred up a lot of controversy um, on that. Uh, guys in the chat, I want to make sure that everybody is being heard. So if you guys could hear me, Zippor, Young Grind, and and uh, Captain Peanut, everybody in the chat, give me a give me a thumbs up and let me know if everybody is coming in clear. Uh, Zippor, what's what are some of the questions that that's that's in your mind right now? Well, one of the questions is like, um, how was he able to maintain or well, even get a CDL with a mental illness? You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, okay. Oh, hold on, Bianca. Yeah, I'll let you answer that in a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. It, it, uh, it's, it's like um, your your family they know you. Your mother knows you. If you have kids, the husband, everybody knows you. So, if the mental illness was so bad, how was she even allowed to obtain a CDL? How did she get past DOT regulations of mental illnesses? Obtaining a CDL because that's one of the things you cannot have. You can't take any, any um depressants or anything like that and and drive a the trailer because they think that you might one day commit suicide or kill somebody else. So how was she able to first of all even get the CDL? All right, all right, yeah. yeah. Young yeah, Brian, no, go ahead, Peanut. Okay, um, let me let me let me ask some young lady. Okay. She had a CDL prior to that accident. The night of that accident, when they found out that she had the alcohol and the drugs, and when she got in trouble, one of the things in her plea deal was that she keep her CDL. He made a deal with the state of Kentucky. Okay. Now, that deal is in place. When she got out of prison, they upheld the deal that they had prior to her going to prison. Okay. Now, what? She. <laughs> but she. Okay. Okay. So, DeMarchio, go, go. Go go ahead, Demarcio. What you was about to say? Because the next question that I got includes uh, what me and Demarcio have done uh, back in the day. So go ahead. Uh, what I was going to say was, with they having the the medicine for the mental illnesses and stuff like that to get your mind back on track, uh, I was thinking that it could be one of those things because we have. She's not the only person sadly enough behind a wheel out here with mental illnesses uh, mm -hmm. if y'all been following uh lockout man's broadcasts and shows and interviews on one i did about the missing driver out mm -hmm. in uh, virginia he had a mental illness issue and he was behind the wheel of the truck and uh he had just parked the truck at the rest area and just walked off mm -hmm. so there's plenty of people out here that knows their health issue situations but it's like what you don't tell don't show nobody will know right don't ask don't tell right exactly exactly and, because and when i was in truck driving school i've seen people that are coming in and say i take two to or i take some type of sleep aid and dot was like no automatically disqualified from um obtaining the cdl you know what I'm saying? So it's like people are not telling exactly what is wrong with them. They're just like doing the minimum that they need to get it, and that's that. Yeah, just do the exactly. minimum of what, what you can do to get your CDL. Okay. But see, when stuff like this happens, then the mental illness becomes a problem, but yet and still, they are allowing people with mental illness to have a CDL. But the thing is, if you're not being so honest, who to say who's got a mental illness and who doesn't. Yeah, you're right. That's true. Okay. Now, what happened with her is she said when her mother and grandmother both passed within hours of each other, that's where she had a psychological breakdown. Oh. 
And you know that and that 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 can oh, hit that that can hit like a sledgehammer. I mean that that could change everybody's it, it, it could change everybody's focus. That's true. You know, as you know, both of your dear parents that you hold dear to your heart, uh pass, you know, not that far uh from each other. That, mm-hmm. that that's you know that that could put a that that could put a burden on you. So she didn't already have one. She had a life changing situation. She was traumatized from her mother and her grandmother caused her mental each other. Yeah. Yeah. So she wasn't actually born with it. She just had a a trauma in her life that caused. It. Well, I I don't know. I think she was born with it. I, I think she had, she she had she she had mental problems. I mean, let's not. I mean, you know, now, you know, guys, do not get mad at me. Let's let's not, you know, let's let's not make light of it. The, the young lady, you know, the young lady had problems. I mean, she was, she was real. Like I said, I don't know her personally. I don't know her personally, but you know, she was she was real reckless <laughs> with the mouth, and you know, hmm. and and that was because of her mental instability. You see what I'm okay. saying? Mm-hmm. You know, she at at one point she's cool. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like she's cool wow. at one point. You know, she's cool at one point. Uh, very genuine. Just like this, like uh, this like uh, Captain Peanut said. She's she was very genuine. She was personable. But then when that when that mental part of her takes over, then a lot of people, a lot of people. You know, she she rubbed a lot of people the wrong okay, way. Okay, but yet and still, if people knew all of this, why was she still allowed to drive the truck? That's yeah, the that, problem. Right, right. Why was she still that, allowed to yeah. drive the truck if people knew this? Okay, that goes back. If this is going to be a bomb sale, a bomb going off. Okay, but here, give me out. That goes back to being honest. Okay. When... She had to deal with the state of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. The state of Kentucky allowed her to possess a CDL and keep her CDL. But hold on, but hold on. I I think she's talking about before the Kentucky incident, uh, uh, Peanut. She's talking about before the Kentucky incident. How how she was how she was still able, uh, how she was able to to get it uh, in the first place. To get it in a to get it in the first place. But then Okay. okay. I'm gonna ask you this. Okay, I don't know you, right? Right. Okay, I am your DOT doctor. Okay. I hand you a piece of paper. Mm. You're supposed to put down your health mm-hmm. information mm-hmm. on that piece of paper. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've never ran no test mm-hmm. on you. So as I go through and I read, and you tell me you do not have high blood pressure, you do not have any medical um, interest. You've never yes. taken any medication for anything. Mm-hmm. I'm going on what you put down. That's true. If I do not run a test to back up the information that you've given me, I'm going on your work. You're absolutely right. So if people are never given a test, for that doctor to back up that information, the doctor is going on what you told them. That's so right, because they, they don't go no further than what you put right. down on that paper. They sure don't. Yeah, right. And that's how some of these, and that's how some of these drivers are able to get away with with a lot of things. I mean, you know, again, uh, again, uh, back to what Young Grind said uh, about the one driver that we spotlighted back in the day. He hit his uh, mental stability. And all he come to find out that he didn't come into play until he actually got in the truck. He was by himself and no telling what was going on in their minds while they, you know, in the truck by themselves. Same thing with uh same thing with Miss Helen Jones. I mean, you know, the first the the first incident, uh, you know, she got in it, and then the Kentucky situation happened. Now, did she go to jail? For the Kentucky situation, I'm still trying to figure that what out. Happened? Come on, one key, one key. Hold on, uh, Zippy. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. Did she go to prison for that Kentucky incident? 
Okay, say it again. I said, did she go to jail because of the Kentucky incident? Yes. Okay, so yeah. so she did go. So how long was the prison stint for her, uh, for the Kentucky incident? It was a couple of years. It was like two or three years. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did, hold on, oh, 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 What? Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Wait, 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 wait! wait. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm, I'm confused. Right? Hold, hold on. Let me back. Wait, let me, let me, let me back up for a minute. Hold on. Uh, welcome everybody into the chat. I really do appreciate you guys. Welcome my guest Zapora. She's in the building. Young Grind Global. He's in the building. Yes. Uh, and my man via phone. Uh. Captain Peanut is in the building. Uh, Lottie Lorraine says, just stepping in. Who are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about the young lady that uh, Miss Helen Jones, uh, the young lady that was tragically, uh, her life was tragically ended in, um, uh, where was it? In Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we, we're going to touch on that in a minute. Uh, you guys come in the building, make sure you hit the like button and let me know if you guys can hear me uh hear all of us well uh i do appreciate you guys being here okay so i'm 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 confused peanut uh I, I, I'm, I'm i'm confused peanut i'm i'm confused uh young grind uh she went to prison i don't get it and she went to prison for this incident or accident right here. So let me let me let me just let me just back it up a little bit. She uh, okay. What was her charge? Hold on. She she ran she crashed into in into the bridge. That's that's for starters. Okay. She crashed into the bridge. She actually walked away from that accident. Okay. Peanut, what was the charges that they put on her to put her in jail for two years for this accident? Three years. Three years for this accident. Okay, I'm going to have to get into my other phone to get all this information because I'm not going to something up that's not 100%. Oh, okay, okay, all right. We okay, we okay because right. we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to speculate. We we, right. we definitely don't want to speculate, but still, yeah. but still, three years for this. As I mean, uh, by the scene, by the looks of this picture, I mean, I mean, it, it looks like it's just a truck. No other cars, no fatalities. It wasn't wasn't nothing that was in this uh that was in this article, right. Uh, it ain't nothing in the article that says uh, fatalities or any or anything of that matter. Okay, and, so my, I have a question. And, and mind you guys, this was uh, this was uh, four years ago. So I, I I have a question. When she went to jail, behind that, did she go to jail as having a mental disability? Did she go to jail as having a mental issue? Yes. But she came out with her after that? Yes, with an agreement with the with the agreement with the with the agreement with the state. Hold on, young grind, go ahead. Yes, she went to uh she went to she went to prison for those three years with the mental issue of her saying that and went on the live video of going through so many different counties of I-65 okay. and everybody calling these different counties of this going on her live feed. So, right. so many okay. charges come into play mm -hmm. of different counties and uh, like I was saying about the, the alcohol and drugs and reckless driving Mm, 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 mm. falsifying information you know some things come into play but this all comes down to after three years of being in prison and having a deal with kentucky is why she kept her cdls 
I'm back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. That's, that's that's the 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 people people I'm sorry. I don't agree with that. that I don't agree with that at all. That makes that absolutely is, no sense. That that makes no sense. That is that, Kentucky's fault. Something, something somebody they, ain't telling. It's something somebody ain't telling. That don't make no sense. Kentucky says it's okay for a men, you know, for mentally instability, instability, instability. After the crash, after speeding, after after everything she just done, they just say, okay, we're gonna let you keep your CDLs. Don't make no sense to me. Peanut? Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Uh, I'm, I'm getting things broke up. Okay. After 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 the crash, after the speeding, after the after the falsifying, after after being in, in I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mute you, uh young grind, because I'm hearing reverb. But uh after the crash, after the after everything, Kentucky said, yo. You're going to walk out of here and you're going to keep your CDL. Yeah. No one's crazy. That don't make no sense. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Just <clears throat> give, me, give me a couple minutes, guys. Okay. There's a lot more to the story. Got to be. A lot more. Got it. Yeah. Got, okay. Got to be. Now, she had the state of Kentucky by the ball. Oh, maybe one. It's getting interesting okay. now. And when she had the state of Kentucky by the balls, okay, her and her attorney, she said the only thing that she wanted was to maintain her CDL. But That's how? How though? Unfolded. She said that. What she said that somebody was chasing her or something like that. No, she said no, she no, was no, no, no. no, she said she was kidnapped in her yes, uh in her was live feed. With her? No, nobody wasn't with her. She it wasn't nobody in the truck. It wasn't nobody in the truck. It wasn't nobody in the truck at all. She was uh, so she, she had to stay to Kentucky by the balls and keep her CDLs when parent when clearly she was crazy. What did she have on them? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There again. Hold up. Now, hold up. You, you get up. You get up. In front of the horse. Okay. <laughs> Even a local person have right. Okay. Okay. I can't. I couldn't hear him. He said, "Mental person has rights." Even oh yeah, you're right. They do. You're right. You're right. I apologize. They do. They have rights. Her right. Her rights were violated by the state of. Kentucky. Oh, it was a loophole. What rights was that? Oh, okay. that what was that valley? No, that's uh, I I think I know. Is is it because of that video they found of what the of what the officer was saying? No, no, this happened in the hospital. Oh, this happened in the hospital. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well. Okay, in the hospital, we all know you are under any sedation or anything. They take your blood, right? Right, right, right. Okay, that's automatic. She, she refused for them to take her her blood, her get her get her stuff from her. Okay, they do it anyway. When a police officer takes you out of your room, takes you to another part of the hospital. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's nobody around you. And get this stuff from you illegally. See, illegal search and seizure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. okay. This information was used against you in the court of law. This information was obtained illegally. Mm, okay. This is what she worked with with the state of Kentucky. Oh. Like, All right. It makes sense now. There okay. you go. There okay. you go. There you go. 
Okay, so let's uh let's let's fast forward. Let's fast forward to uh to 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 that fateful night now. Um hold on right quick. Uh Diamond Diamond 83 says if she was incarcerated, why why wasn't her license taken away then? We pretty much yeah, uh we, we, we pretty much covered uh covered that diamond. Uh Nikki, what's going on? Nikki says her crashing into the bridge was a suicidal mission, just like pulling the gun on the police was. We we're gonna touch on that, uh Nikki, in a minute. Uh you said I live in Phoenix. Uh the area where she was killed is highly infected drug area. Um okay, okay, okay. So I I do have the video. Uh DeMarchio put a post in his uh in his Facebook post. Uh let me see if I can find it. Uh DeMarchio, I don't think I can find it. Hold on, wait a minute. It says DeMarchio Bryant. Here, here we go. Here we go. All right. So this is the uh this is the post that uh DeMarchio put in his uh in his uh in his thing. The officers asked Jones if she was armed and told her to show her race band. Jones said she was unarmed, but police said she refused to show her right side of the hip area that appeared to have a concealed weapon. Police officer said they a police officer tried to get Jones to comply, but she refused, pointed the gun, and the officers opened fire. Some of the comments in this feed right here is I I, I want to you know hey I, I I'm 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 open, but see the thing with me is I like to see both sides of the story, and I would like to see the beginning video. But this young uh, young driver right here says uh, something about uh, something about the. The cops didn't have no reason. Uh, why, why? They didn't have to. Ki they didn't. The cops didn't have to kill her. And me and Demarchio, here's here it is right here. They didn't have to kill. They didn't have to kill her. That video. Wow. Uh, me and Demarchio both commented in the video. I mean, in the stream. Um, Demarchio said her hands was up. She was asked by the police was she was armed. She said no. She failed to show. Let me uh let me mute uh Demarchio. Uh she said no, uh failed to show. Uh she turned back around and pointed the gun at the police. And I came in and said, uh she, you know, I, I guess I was being sarcastic, I guess, but she uh, she didn't have to point the gun at them. And then, you know, of course, she she came she came back with uh, with her uh, snide reply. But um, but but the Marchio, man, uh, look, pointing a gun at a cop is not going to end well, period. I'm I'm just saying uh, it's 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 not going to it's not going to end well, bro. You know, are you basing that off of color? I, I'm 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 not I'm I'm basing it on the whole thing. Uh, you know, if you point whether you white, black, Puerto Rican, whatever, you point a gun at a cop, it's not going to end well. That's not one hundred percent correct. Go ahead. All right. At one point in my life, mm -hmm. I was behind that. All right, okay. talk to me. There we go. Now, when you're behind that badge, you got one thing in your mind every day. 
do your job and go home safely. Right. Family. Right. 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 Uh -huh. That's that's everybody's idea. That's everybody's mindset. Every day you put on that shirt. That bag is a target on your chest. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Now, do people want to kill people? There's something going on here in this world. Yes, they do. Mm. There is what we call the bad apple. Mm -hmm. You got your good apple. You got your bad apple. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a good apple and a bad apple? It's which one you pick up. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, with that being said, the officers that was involved in her shooting, nine out of ten were probably some good apples. Mm -hmm. She turned them into what everyone thinks is a bad apple, but oh. they're not. Okay. Because she was a convicted felon in possession of a firearm, which is a no-no. Okay. She also lied when she said she did not have a weapon. She did. Right. Now, you in your house, you're in your truck, you're wherever. Someone comes up to you to say, steal your flat screen TV out of your house. What are you going to do? Oh, wait, you can't have that. Get out of my house. No, you're going to defend yourself. Right. If that person has a weapon, it's, do I give them the TV and let them walk out of here, or do I end this person's life? Mm. It's that simple. So you mean to tell me that there was absolutely no other way that they could have He didn't have to do this. He could have wounded them. He didn't have to kill that person. Right. A dead man cannot sue you. A live man can sue you and sue everybody mm. around you. Mm. So these officers, not only are they protecting themselves, they're protecting their agency, they're protecting their state. Because if a cop shoot and wound you and you're able to live, not only do you get to sue that police officer for shooting you, you shoot the agency and the state. Hmm. So it's easier just so, to kill him because you don't want to get sued? Do I want to see this gentleman going? No, I do not. Hold on, uh, hold, hold, hold on, uh, Captain Pina. Uh, Zippy has a question. I said, so it's easier for them to kill them because they don't want to get sued? I mean, they have rubber bullets and have tasers. They could have talked her down. They, I mean, the, it seems like with every cop, the first thing that they are trained to do is shoot to kill. But I've seen a lot of situations where cops don't do that. They they they'll talk you down, and you'll wind up in the hospital, and you're talking to psychiatrists trying to figure out what is wrong with you. You understand what I'm saying? All so right, I, now, I, I, don't, I don't get that. I don't all right, that. right, all right. Now, right there, uh, uh, gr uh, young global. I'm about to, I'm about, I'm about to, I'm about to show the video. Uh. Because you know you you brought that you brought that point uh you brought that point up uh Zippor. so in this situation uh you tell me uh what you what what should have in your opinion what should have been done hold on I'm about to I'm about to mute you right quick uh there you go. Right, nigga, and I'm not trying to go. Hold on. My, look, they moving everybody out the, uh, out the gas station. <laughs> you know, like, I'm waiting. Oh, damn. I couldn't hardly see it. Did she pull the gun out and turned around? Yes. Oh. Yes. Wow. Hey, Zippy. <laughs> yes. Hey, yeah. Zippy. Yes, I'm listening. I can't do this. Hey, this uh, this young global. Okay. Right. <laughs> the in the article, and this is to catch everybody else up on who hasn't read the article. Mm -hmm. There was a cop around up the street that was doing a traffic stop on another vehicle. Helen Jones has parked her truck, has parked her vehicle 
in a strip mall somewhere and came across the street to wherever she was at from that strip mall. They heard gunshots and they came to the area and Helen Jones approached the police car and told the police that where she parked her car at. So the police asked her, was she armed? She said, no. The police asked her to show her waistband. She refused to show her right side hip, which looks to be her carrying a weapon. So did and she have a weapon the, on her? Yes. Yeah. And the point of the video of the cops blocking the street off and having her at gunpoint, she did have her hands up behind her head facing the police. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She turned her back on police, let her mm -hmm. hands down, put pulled out the gun off her waistband, and turned back around and pointed it at police. Okay, so now so, this is death by suicide. Yes. That's, a, that's exactly what they did. It's no longer the cops killing her. That's death by suicide. She told multiple people. Exactly. She told multiple people this is how she wanted to do This is death by suicide. This is no longer the cops killing her. No. She told, she told multiple people she wanted to die by law enforcement. Yeah. So what here, the mental illness, man. I'm mean, here. I just can't get over that far. But okay. All right. Here, here's. I'm going back to the mental illness part. Okay. That all, that all of this was being mental from the very beginning. Yes, it does. Okay. Now, she was able to maintain her CBL through the Kentucky incident. Right. Okay. It's not the same part. From, from what I know of Helen, she's worked for at least three different companies within the last year. Now, let me, let me stop you right there. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Okay. Again, uh, again, these companies must not be uh, these companies must not be vetting her. I mean, all, all the companies I called, they they all the company. Well, of course, you know these is you know big major you know major companies. Of course, they're gonna do they do yep. diligence. They're gonna they're gonna look mm -hmm. at your that report. They're gonna look at your background. They're gonna look at all of that. So, and some you of which, it. some of which even throw your name in Google. Uh, in Google and find information from you that way. This oh, right God. here, this right here, this right here, must have been from she. She must have got on with owner operators. Go ahead, young girl. Yeah. Hey, hey, lockout and uh, peanut. Let me tell y'all the last time that uh, I, I remember me and Helen talking. I was running with. Uh, a Russian company out of Norcross, Georgia. And mm -hmm. she, at some point after this Kentucky accident, uh, was looking for a job coming out of prison. And she hit me up. I hit up the company. And for some reason, her name just didn't cross her mind at that point. She got approved mm -hmm. to come into the job. I had to make the phone call back to my company and say, uh, y'all can't hire this woman. Okay. Well she, younger, well, she has a team partner. Well, y'all can't hire this woman. Why not? Well, she did have an accident for some reason that's not showing up. But I'm here to tell y'all she's not safe behind the wheel. Now, hold so, on. Hold, hold on, Brian. Now, now, mind you, this is how long after she got out? Right when she got out. Okay, so, but that, but the accident was like three, well, maybe what, two years in, in from from the accident. She she had the accident in August two thousand seventeen. Right, and she did three years. Okay, so seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So, so she came out now. Okay, so that's three years ago. Now some companies will bring you on. After a three-year period, but yeah, it's, it's still but some of them say five. But but it's still years. but it still should show up on 
your record. That's my record. Exactly. This is on her record, right, Peanut? This, I mean, it's no way that she could have got that. I mean, she got her driver's license back, but it's no way that she could have got that accident off of her record, bro. This is this is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, he was working for smaller companies. Right. Okay. Now, give me give, give me give me three minutes. Uh, three minutes. Please. Okay. The first company that she worked with, she had a falling out with the owner. Okay. She was supposed to run, and she wasn't getting paid what she thought she was supposed to get paid. Okay. So she contacted another driver that she knows that has her own business in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. I'm going to put that part out there. She met these people in Mississippi somewhere. Okay. <laughs> they took parts off of this truck that they needed for another truck. Okay. And then when she parked the truck, she told the owner <laughs> to find the truck at. When the owner was able to get somebody over there, the truck had to be took to the shop, be fixed, and put back on the road. That owner was going after her for damages to the truck. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, the person she just went to work for, um, she said, "Well, I need this, 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 and this on my truck." Okay. They got the truck fixed. They got the truck roadworthy. But this company leased that truck on to another company. Okay. But she's driving for the owner of that truck. Her and this person get into a heated discussion. Okay. Okay. She then calls the company that the truck is leased onto and told them information mm -hmm. about what was going on with this truck and this load that she was currently under. Okay. Well, let, let me. The company immediately let the company go. Let, 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 let me get back. Let, let me get back to. Let me get back to uh, the, uh, the 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 young global right quick and his company. So your your company actually brought her on, gave her a team driver, and and she was ready to go. No, she was but, coming on board. She but was you coming on board. Mm -hmm. She was coming on board with a team driver. Oh, she was coming on board with a team driver. Okay, but uh, you know, but uh, you know. What, okay, so I'm about to play devil's advocate with you right quick, bro. So you intervene, right? Mm -hmm. And you 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 call you know you you called up your man and you say, yo, bro, uh, I, I I know you brought her on and you know everything's good to go, but I, I'm I'm sorry, man, but you 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 shouldn't bring her on because of the accident, yada yada yada. So in that sense. Would you would you consider your would you consider that to be snitching? I'm just asking because somebody else going to ask that question. I mean, in a way, you can call it snitching, and you, hey, I don't care. But on the other side of it is, is that if I work for you, and I know that this person had an accident under a mental illness. Uh, situation that can take you out. They can take you out of your business. Mm. And this is a small outfit too, right? This is a small outfit of ten trucks or less. Mm. Because you know, one 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 accident for a small ass outfit um, for a small outfit would would uh, would would do the damn thing. Um, Zippor, what, what do you what do you, what do you think about that? About him telling the company that to not hire him. Well, yeah, yeah. If you want to, if you want to touch on that too, but uh, well, if you if you was in his same situation and you you know you, the, the outfit that you was working for uh, brought her on and and you you know knew of her background and what possibly could have happened, then yeah, you you could touch on it. 
Yeah, I, I think I think I would have did the exact same thing because you have to also think about um not only are you you could kill yourself, but you can also kill somebody else's loved one. You know what I'm saying? Because we come and interact with cars that drive like they lost their mind on a daily basis. So if you have somebody that has had a wreck like that and has those type of mental issues, I wouldn't want them to work for my company either. I wouldn't even want them to use me as a recommendation for the company. And if I found out that they were trying to work for the company, then I would stop it as well. So I don't think he was wrong with for doing that. Okay. Okay. Peanut. Yeah. Would uh, what what do you think, man? Think about uh, think about that situation right there. Okay. There again, we're all grown folks here. Mm-hmm. Okay. We all want the same thing. We all want to be safe out here on these heroes. We all, at one time or another, locked up in a vehicle for days at a time. Mm -hmm. Depending on what you're hauling, when you get loaded, when you talk to another human being. Because there's some people who will pull up to a truck stop, never go inside because all they need to do is get their fuel pump. They can get their receipt from the fuel pump. They can authorize the pump, everything. Mm -hmm. So you do not have to talk to another human being. Mm -hmm. That's the same as when a person is incarcerated and mm-hmm. put in solitary confinement. It does something to your mental state. Mm. So the young grind who intervenes and says, hey, I would not hire this person. I would not bring this person on. He did what was right in his mind where he could be comfortable with. Because you need the young lady that's on the phone. If any of us says, well, this is a person that I know, and go ahead and bring them in, and then all of a sudden this person runs somebody over, the company's going to look at you and say, lockout, what happened? You told us to hire this person. Now we have a multi-million dollar lawsuit because your person ran somebody over in a truck stop, parking mm. lot. Mm. They you trying to they they, they trying to they trying to make it look like they trying to make it look like it's uh it's your man's or your woman's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. Well, <sighs> look like 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 I said before, man. I mean, you know, like I said before. Um, uh, let me let me uh touch on the people that's in the chat right quick. Um. Let's see. Nikki uh says she must have worked she must have been working for a small outfit. Yeah, she 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 was from what what we understand now. And she also comes back and says uh on young grind is doing the right thing. So, okay, young grind. Okay, I I, I give you that bro. I give you that bro ham, broski. <laughs> um uh captain peanut man this this young lady um this, this young lady uh helen uh jones um like like i said before i i don't know her personally rest in peace to her and everything my thing is this uh the only my my thing is this is that everybody is making opinions and judging from what they see on this video okay and and again, what they see is cops shooting a black person. Yes. And that's yes. and that's what they see. So they gonna start they gonna start variating their opinions on that fact alone. Now okay. this situation here does not oh, have oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, 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 Peanut. Go ahead, uh, Grind. Now, this situation of this woman getting shot in Phoenix, Arizona, is not to be escalated as a worldwide altercation of no need for protesting or riots or anything like that. And that is because this was her wish. Yes. Go ahead, Peanut. Yeah, I'm, I'm a total agreement with Young Grind. This is a subject that we've had on my show, okay? The family has been broken down, okay? Knowing right from wrong, we all say we know right from wrong. But 
when a person can say, well, this is how I run my phone. This is how I do this. Okay. When these people grow up now are amongst other people, what you do in your house is going to affect the rest of the world. Okay. Helen had a I don't care about nobody else. It's all about me attitude. Now, she did not care for law enforcement. She did not care for um, authority figures, period. With that being said, she was in possession of a weapon as a felon, which is a no-no. Right, right. She lied to these people when they asked her, do you have any weapons? She lied. Okay. When they are looking at you, they're trained to look at your body, your clothing, everything. Right. Something didn't add up. These cops were on edge. Mm. When she turned away from them, the alertness went even higher. When she turned back around, I don't care if she had her cell phone in her hand. It was time to light her up. Mm. When they saw the gun, that was even more of you're being shot. So for people who are on the other side, oh, well, you didn't have to kill her. She brought this on her own, folks. I'm sorry to say that. Mm. Um. I'm I'm reading from the uh, comments uh, that was in uh, Young Grimes' post. Um, this young man says she made her choice. She refused to drop the gun, then proceed to point it at the police. At that point, it's considered. At that point, it is considered self-defense. I have met her before, and it's a shame what happened. But she made the choice not the police uh young grind your your favorite friend came back and she says uh you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> so at that point of 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 us not knowing what we're talking about here i mean what what do you think she's trying to say to that to that comment like the choice wasn't hers uh, I don't see how people, for people to say that the con- that the choice wasn't hers, for the people that know of her, the choice was hers. When I said, I wish I was uh, thought about this and reached out to my other homeboy who uh, did some comments, uh, my boy David, he said that he has a friend or homeboy that lives in Arizona. Now, for the ones that she spoke to before this tragedy, she said, I'm about to go be with my mother and grandmother. She parked the car at a strip mall. Okay. The police were doing a traffic stop down the street. They heard right. gunshots. That that might be presumably coming from her. That, that could be coming from her. When Helen Jones seen the police car mm-hmm. coming down the road, she approached the police. Okay. She okay. Approached the police and told police, hey, my car is parked at the strip mall. Right. So, one, she has this already planned out that there's the police. I done shot this gun off. They came. It's time for me to go. Let, okay, them, okay. let, let them see. Let them let me tell them where this car is parked at. So that they can go and get the car or okay. whatever. So here it is. You approach the police. Now here it is. We have Peanut on here who used to be behind the badge. They are trained to look at your body. Are you down? What's different? Ma'am, are you armed? No. But your body. Saying body something is, different. The way your body's looking, the way your outfit is looking, looks like you have a weapon on you. Okay. In the video of her getting shot, it shows her having her hands right. behind her head. Right. When she turned her back on the police, she took her hands down from behind her head, pulled up her shirt, 
pulled out the gun, turned back around, and pointed at police. Police is not going to sit up here, nor no human being, period, that's not behind a badge or not, is not going to wait for somebody to shoot them. Mm. We're not going to, at one point in time, uh, I'm going to say this, I was going to be a police officer before a truck driver. But I think we all had to, that. <laughs> <laughs> going into, uh, I also thought about after my three, four years of driving trucks, I thought about going to still be a police officer. But my best friend who I well, I've lost uh, back in 2011 changed my ideas of being a police officer. But this is also not talking on about being a police officer. But at, still, at any point, if you have a gun on you and they have a gun, police already know that, hey, I heard shots fired. So when I pull up to this area where I think the shots are being fired at, I'm already ready when I hop out this car. She okay. approached the police with the gun on her waist. They see the gun on her waist. Mm hmm this is what she had planned. All right. So, yeah, uh, yeah. By by you breaking it down and 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 explaining it that way, uh, it, it looks as though that 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 she wanted it to happen. And of course, uh, another comment here says uh, suicide by cop. Uh, let me go ahead and tip in to the uh, check in to the uh, community right quick. What's going on, everybody? Nikki Diamond, what's up? What's up? Uh, Nikki says, uh, excuse me. Nikki says, I just want to touch on the subject of her being able to still drive with her CDL. Believe, be I believe Kentucky required her to get an SR22. She was asking for donations to get an SR-22 when she was in the halfway house. Zippor, you look like you're having a good old time up there, man. I'm, I'm, I promise you I'm listening to everything. My sister came to see me. I'm listening. <laughs> oh, no, you, and, you and your sister <laughs> chopping it up. It's all good. I saw the pointers that the ex-cop gave, and it makes sense now. You know what I'm saying? Because first, you know, when a black person get killed by a cop, period, the first thing we think is that they're always killing us. But this mm -hmm. situation was different. You know what I'm saying? This yeah, situation was a little bit different, so I don't have to be as angry as I was before. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And that's okay, well, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad we was able to. I'm glad we was able to put some clarification. Yeah, I was in my life. feelings behind that because I'm you was in you. You was heated. <laughs> and that's why I'm glad that we are able to put something like this together because so many people are looking at, oh, she was a black woman that got shot by police. Let's do another riot. Or, That's not or, the case. Or she, another, another, uh, another. Uh, uh, what the, it's so some, it's, Thank you. Another protest. <laughs> you know. Right. Uh, so, no reason behind Helen Jones do a protest need to happen or anything like this. This was her wish. This was her passing wish. She wanted to be taken out off this earth by law enforcement. Uh, 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 Such Peter, a sad, no. brutal way to go, though, because they it's like they don't they don't shoot you one time. They'll empty the clip on you. Why would you that, want to leave that image? Paint it. That's that's what they that's that's what they did. They 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 uh they did um they pretty much empty the clip on her. Yeah, they 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 uh. They 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 unloaded on what yeah. you know they unloaded yeah, on. How many cops was it? Like four? Uh, hold on, only two cops shot her. Uh, well, hold, hold on, only two. Hold, only two hold on, hold on. Eighteen boots apiece. If they yeah. had yeah. nine million. All right, Peanut. You again. You 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 had some conversations and some dealings with uh with Helen Jones. Uh, you know I, I know we I know we spoke on it earlier in the in the in the uh, episode. But you know, for the people that's coming in, for the people that's coming in now, uh, 
you know, kind of, you know, kind of, kind of let people know of of what type of woman she was, if if you can, uh, you know, from from when you was knowing her. You know, she's the type of person. If you reach the, the surface. And with breaking news here at IBM, hold on, a large hold on, police hold situation on, hold unfolding. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is your 27th oh, Avenue, and in. All right. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Yeah. If you read the surface of people, she was a great person, nice person to know. Give you the shirt off her butt. That's the surface level. Mm -hmm. When you get into something deeper with her. You then see another side to all of this. Okay. When you're not talking as a friend, things go her way and her way only. Mm. Okay. I've been on phone calls with her and her sister, Lori. This is a blood sister, not someone that, you know, how people say, oh, that's my sister, it's someone I grew up with. This is someone they grew up in the same household. Mm -hmm. Okay. The the tension that was between her and her own sister, okay, was enough tension that if you cross her path, you were going to pay help. When she went to prison and got out, her statement was, I would never go back there again. I would die before I go back there. Mm. That was her statement. I've been on the phone with her and her sister, and she said this. Lori has posted on my Facebook group page where they're asking for any donations that anyone wants to give to help with her final call. Man, uh, I got this picture of her tattoo. Um, it says here, uh, I had a very, she says, she says, quote, I had a very rough life growing up. And when I became a truck driver back in 05, I had this tattoo done and it says trucking save me and my grandmother underneath. Um, wow. I mean, I mean, mit, 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 mental illness ain't no joke. Um, people, people deal with it on a daily, on a daily, daily basis. Um, what do you, give, give me a second, uh, peanut. Uh, go ahead and uh, go go ahead and uh, uh, shout out your uh, radio station while I uh, talk to uh, talk to uh, my partner right quick. Give me a second. All right. Yeah. For the ones who don't know, I had. Okay, you, man. Yeah, I basically shouted out Helen on Friday's show. I'm the host of DRV 103 Morning Drive, Captain Pina. Okay. Hello? I can't hear you anymore. What happened? Uh, Pina, you there? Yeah. Uh... Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. Hold on. I I I can hear y'all. I I got y'all. I got y'all. Um. All right. Uh. What's going on, everybody? This is uh Lockout Man again. Welcome to the uh show. I really do appreciate you guys being up in here. Make sure that you guys hit that like button if this uh if this uh you know episode is a good episode for you guys. Uh, trucking with Tony says, uh. He says that's how he said that's how it is though. He says it's like military. Engage until you think the threat is neutralized. So all right, so I got a 
I got my partner here. So if you guys want any mask or anything like that, this is who uh who 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 does those masks for me and all. Um something just happened. Uh wait, I think peanut just fell off. Uh hold on, give me a mic check. Uh young grind. Young grind? Yo. All right, Zapor. Yes, I'm yeah. here. Okay, I think uh I think we lost uh I think we lost uh Peanut. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, Peanut. Yeah, I have all right. uh, like all right, hold I got all right, hold on. All right, hold, all right, hold on right quick. I got somebody that wanna chime in on uh on mental on uh mental illness. What do you what do you wanna say? Uh about how real depression is and how it affects uh, people mentality. Well, as someone who suffers with depression myself, it can be pretty hard. There's days where you feel like crap and then there's days where you just feel perfectly fine. Dealing with it every day is very challenging though. I am an artist and I've been dealing with this since I was 14 mm. and it's like, it's just so hard. And most of the times growing up with it, I will always go to my friends, my friends and my family, because I know they can make me feel better. But it's like, if you're dealing with depression, always surround yourself with people who are positive, who care about you, because no matter how hard it gets, they will be there for you and always be like, hey, it's going to be okay. You just got to hold on. And the struggle is real, especially with how last year went. Yeah, yeah, I really needed that. That that was terrible. So if anyone out here that has depression, just know it's not always going to be bad. Things can always be brighter for you. You just have to hold on and keep thinking positive no matter how hard it gets. I know how hard it gets. Just keep holding on because there's always someone out there that's going to be there for you. Even if they're not there physically, just know that they're thinking about you. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. So if anybody uh, out there uh, that's uh, that's that needs help or or contemplating uh anything uh here's the phone number right here uh 800-273-8255 or you can uh you can get with my guy uh chaplain i'm not sure if he's in the chat but uh you guys could actually um you guys can actually get up uh get up with him and everything so but yeah this it's uh it's uh it's real uh it's real you know i i deal you know i i, I deal with it sometimes and you know back uh back in you know 2014 when you know when me and my wife separated um you know i had uh had, had that little bout uh with it you know it, son came outside saw me in the truck with a motherfucking bottle of md on the side like mm -hmm. no nah, bro you're not about to you're not about to drive bro you're not about to drive. You're about to get your ass over here in the in the house. You know, mm. it was a time where where I I I I woke up fully clothed. <laughs> you know, after 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 all of that. So, you know, if if you if if you have somebody, you know, in your life, or you know, have somebody that that you want to resonate with you know, that you need to talk to or something like that, you know, feel free to give me a call. Um, definitely feel free to give my guy, uh, young grind a call, you know what I'm saying? Because he, you know, he, he, he deals with, you know, a lot of people that has issues and we come across a lot of stories like this, you know what I'm saying? So definitely, uh, you know, definitely look us up, uh, Zippor, um, yeah. What, what 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 about you? As far as what? As far as uh, as far as your your thoughts on uh, people with depression and everything. 
<sighs> I mean, the thing about it is with the mental illness is that um you have to be willing to to do your part. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, they'll go to the doctor and they'll get the medicine, but do they actually take the medication? Are they actually doing the counseling? Are they actually talking to somebody that's going through the same thing they're going through? Are they having some type of group therapy? You have to play your part to keep it under control. You know, people are diagnosed with this and then they just go off the handle and nobody understands why, but they're not doing anything to make sure that they don't fly off the handle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you know you got it, you have to play your part. You can't just do whatever you... It's, it's, not, it's not like living an everyday life like normal people. I'm not trying to say that they're not normal, but if they have a different mindset from anybody else, then they, they have to live a different lifestyle. You know now, what I mean? You can't just act like everything is okay when it's not. That's what's so up. People need to take it serious. That's all. And see, some people, before I touch on you, uh, 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 Captain Peanut, some people with this young lady, uh, Helen Jones, a lot of people in her circle, uh, in her group, Hold on, right quick. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, no, I, I'm about to say that right now. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? You can come back and say it yourself. So hold on, right quick. Uh, hold on, right quick. Go ahead and finish cooking. Uh, <laughs> uh, listen. So, well, Helen Jones, you know, of course, she had her mental instabilities and she had mental problems. I want to say this first and foremost. Um, a lot of people didn't like her because the way she came to them or came at them, but see, a lot of people didn't realize, or if they did realize that she was mentally handicapped and a lot of people, you know, worse hurt, man, period, worse hurt. A motherfucker tells you, you know, go kill yourself. And then you fucking surprised that somebody actually went and fucking killed themselves. You know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, yo, let's go and get them some help. Or let's go and get them some, you know, get them somebody that they can resonate with. So they can so they can get that help. You know, it was it was a lot of ill people. Now, of course, she got ill with a lot of people. But then there was a lot of people that got ill with her back that already knew of her situation. So instead of offering to help, they just kept it up. And then now they all surprised of what 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 happened to this young lady. I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying. Am 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 I wrong? Am I am I wrong for that, uh, uh, Captain Peanut? Uh. No, you're not really wrong to walk out. But here's the thing. For people who knew something, there's two sides to every story. Okay. One with DRV, we offer resources to anybody. Okay. If you have a situation and you don't want to talk to who is offered to you, then the person who offered it to you has done what they can do for you. If you got a different, uh, you got a different way that you deal with the situation, and your situation, and the way that you deal with it isn't working, and someone's offering you something and you don't take it, then it's not their fault. You know, but the thing is, if we all pull together maybe the wording I might I might have the right answers but the way I tell you about it might not go the way you want it to go and it, you you don't want it young guy can tell you hey what peanut offer you is the best thing out there and then you accept it so I see I say if we all pull together it will work. All right. Diamond says, uh, I know that there are HIPAA laws, but did she ever seek psychiatric help or psychiatric attention? Uh, would you be able to comment on that, uh, uh, Peanut? As far as I know, 
she had reached out a couple of times. But the minute someone says, hey, you need to take a pill, you need to do this, she shut it out and closed it off. Mm. Nobody gave her the answer that she wanted to hear. Mm. She didn't even believe in God until here in the last six months that I heard that she had turned towards God. Mm. It is it is a sad uh, situation. Nikki, thank you for having the courage to speak on depression. Uh, hold your head up high. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, hold on right quick. My partner wanted to add something. I know you're cooking bacon. I love bacon. Hold on. One last thing to touch on. No matter your mental illness, your life matters and you matter. That's what's up. Everybody matter. God damn it, man. Uh, young Grind, what you want to say uh, very quick? Uh, what I wanted to say was... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I wanted to say was that, you know, everybody is pretty much here for anybody that wants to talk, but nobody is forced to uh, explain what they're going through. Exactly. And that here it is, she has her mental issues and behind the wheel of the road. Mm -hmm. And as us truck drivers, we have difficult schedules mm -hmm. of needing time off to go do the doctor's appointments or uh, stuff like that to handle our situations. And then there's, again, there's medicines that we're not allowed to take behind the wheel at certain times of driving. Exactly. So uh, under her circumstance, it's like there's a lady that um, I was watching her live video and there's a couple of drivers out here that knew Helen Jones and they're like, well, they feel like it's their fault that this happened to Helen Jones. Mm -hmm. They feel like that if they would have spoke to Helen Jones, they would have been able to change the situation. You, I don't think that you can necessarily change somebody's mindset once it's already been set. Mm -hmm. And that uh, you're going to do so much which that person will allow you to. And that is the information that they give you. And again, she's a truck driver in another state, another city, who knows when the last time she took her medicine. But again, she's under mental illness, depression, and stress of losing her mother and grandmother in the same day. And this is a lot. And, and this is a lot to a uh, 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 a lot to take on. You know. There's a lot to take on, yeah. so. You know, lock out. I'm going to say this. I got to go. We at DRV 103, the door is open to any and all y'all. Um, you can email us, um, lock out, and um, young Brian knows how to get a hold of me. Uh, we do have a young lady. You that, you is, one. that look good on you. And she would talk to you over the phone. It took me a whole month to get that. She'll give you at least one, maybe two phone calls where you need anything other than that. Then y'all can set up, you know, like uh, whatever it is that you need. You know, you need to talk twice a week or whatever. But this is something that, that we've offered her. And I'm offering it to anyone that's seen your um, live that's what's that up. If they need someone to talk to, we do have, and I'm not just saying another truck driver that you can talk to. We are talking professional therapists that will reach out to you and work with you. That's what's up. All right, Peanut Man. Hey, I, I do appreciate you. I don't have my other soundboard with me, but I do appreciate you coming in 
and uh, chopping it up with us, uh, you know, uh, about Helen Jones. Uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, till next time, man. Uh, till next time, we definitely uh, going to going to get back at it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You you always welcome to come on and everything, man. So you know, you know, let's uh, let's uh, let's do something, bro. 2021. Uh, Lockout Men Podcast and DR, what is it, DRV or DVR? D, D, D DRV 103. DRV 103, that's what's up, Can man. you put it in the comments so I can copy I, and paste it? I will put it in the comments. Thank you. I, will put I don't remember that. I, I know, I ain't going to remember it either. So, <laughs> hey, Peanut, send me send, send me the information uh, via text, man, or or if you if you can hit me up in the uh in, in the uh messenger man and send all that over to me bro we uh we're gonna yeah we're gonna we we gonna do some we're gonna do more stuff this year man i will i will definitely and um i'm also on tiktok we're on clapper oh, okay you know what tiktok man let me you know what you need to, I, I don't have my thing i don't have my soundboard over here man tiktok get out of here TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm already having a, I'm already having a hard time just keeping up with Instagram and 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 this right here. You going TikTok and 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 VMO and and and, and something something else. I can't do it, man. I, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, man, just uh, send everything over to me, bro, and I, I will put it in the uh, you know, I'll put it in the uh, description and everything. And all like that, and uh, and yeah, we we about to get on up out of here. Uh, Thor L is in the building. He says, "Uh, what's up, young grind, and what's up, lockout? What's going on, bro?" He says, "Y'all on Zoom? Up, no, bro? no, we we don't Zoom over here. This is a uh, Streamyard Live for the Lockout Man Podcast Show." Um, but yeah, man, uh, definitely go back in the replay and uh, check it out and all like that. Uh. You know, Helen Helen Jones definitely um definitely rest in peace of this young lady. Uh again, you know, I, I you know what had happened to her, what had happened to her, you know, again, as everybody says it was a choice. But um yeah, she's she's in a she's in a better place now. I, I mean, I know that's I, I know that's so controversial and saying now because everybody says it, but I mean, she's 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 where she wants to be. You know, she wants to be with her mom. She wants to be with her grandma. Uh, you know, unfortunately, she didn't have uh, she didn't have what she was looking for in a physical form. So hopefully she can uh find what she's looking for in the um you know in the um in the spiritual form. So uh everybody, I do appreciate you guys being here. Zapor, thank you very much for jumping in. Yes, yeah, no and problem in. anytime. Not a problem. You know, you you know you're a friend of the of the show. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. yes, yes, down in Georgia. <laughs> and all like that. Then my man, young grind grizzy. The Marky O'Brien man, I you know I appreciate you uh, for your support. Uh, you know for your support of the show, man. I mean, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, man, half of the stories that I would come across, I wouldn't even have. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you. Uh, you was the one that brought the uh, the female truck driver. You know, back in the day, a couple of years ago, you brought that to me. You brought the uh, the missing driver. You you brought the the young lady that was killed on the highway, and uh, and you just recently brought me the brought us the first. You know what I'm saying? The first information of Mr. Dennis Brown. So. Uh, with with all it with all of that, bro, I I do appreciate you and all like that. And uh, let's make uh 2021. You know what I'm saying? The Lockout Man Podcast show a success. You feel me? Oh yeah. All right. So I appreciate all you guys being on here, and I appreciate all you guys being here. Unfortunately, y'all couldn't see me because I don't have the camera set up, and I was at you know my home. And unfortunately, all the camera gear, just like Timothy, is in the truck and everything. Well, you know, I should be saying that out loud. So, no, it's not in the truck. 
<laughs> I know it's a little bit too late for that, right? Right, Zippy. I, I yes. know. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, I do appreciate all you guys being here. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. And when you guys leave the building, make sure y'all leave a like. You know what I'm saying? 2021. Have a happy 2021. Let's make something prosperous. Uh, let's let's make it happen. You know, uh, physically, mentally, financially, uh, and uh, and and continue to have everybody in y'all prayers. So thank you very much for joining us. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, we'll get back at you guys with another one. Peace. Ah,